All right, welcome back, guys, to White Falcon Plays. There was, there's a resume button that you can click before starting the game that goes straight into your actual play play game. It's good. All right, so we don't have any movement here, uh, and we don't have any movement here. We've done building in here. What's this? Two turns population. Will next population increase? So we can't grab another. No, we can't because nothing's highlighted. Okay, so I think we're all done. Let's end the turn. An unknown ruler. Okay, so what does this mean? Um, so we just have to wait for another one before we get another location. You can't see the... I'm guessing that doesn't include this one. Alright, let's grab this. A spirit hawk. Is this like a scout? Melee strike five and three defense mode far sight. Unit has plus one vision, low maintenance, and pass through. Pass through obstacles. Shock weakness, spirit resistance. 50 HP. What does this thing got in terms of HP? 45. So it's stronger than the scout. So it's not a bad unit. You have discovered an ancient wonder. Have I? It now needs to be explored before it can be claimed. Though only armies led by a hero can explore ancient wonders. While Is exploring, it... you can encounter obstacles which can be overcome in various ways. Though they can always be cleared through combat. Okay, so is it saying it's right here? Wait, why is it? Is there two? Unidentified forces detected. Or is this an ancient wonder? Ancient wonder. Okay. Lobs hollow. <coughs> well, if that's the case, then maybe we go down this way. Production stash. Probably should grab that as well. Should we split these people up? Sixty production. That's not a force, is it? That looks like a plant. So I'm guessing I can go straight over the uh, forest. Uh, the water. Um, haunted graveyard. Let's go this way then, because uh, our hero will have to grab that. I like how he can kind of see things in the mist. Once you get to know what things are, that'll be a big giveaway on things. Okay. Mana node. So what's this here? Should we follow the road? There's a little gate and everything. Whoa. Meeting fierce blood guard. Chief Jez rage taker of the free city of bloodguard greet you with flashing eyes and a big grin and a proud stance strength and blood glory to you misha the radiant we ratty blood letters of bloodguard welcome you to these lands of strife we look forward to seeing your strength on the battlefield be it alongside or against us give Jez, the Rage Taker, one of your Whispering Stones to start negotiations and gradually improve their allegiance with you. Given to a free city to begin negotiations which can lead to becoming your vassal. Having more allows you to befriend multiple free cities at once. How many do we have? We have one. If we be with the rat people. Let me see if the proud Bloodguard is worthy of my strength. Okay. We got some burn and stuff. They're pretty close to us, so it'd be good to have them as our friends. We're neutral at the moment. Why not? Because that'd be pretty strong, wouldn't they? Tier 1 unit. Chaos Affinity. Destruction, so go the Congress Strife and Demonic Forces. Well,. Probably we wouldn't want to do that. Maybe we want to take them out. Just declare war on them? 
how many places and how... What's that mean? 20 strength. Fortification health. Okay. They got one population. Well, it doesn't feel like the Paladins would join forces with the Rat King. So... But we might be open to negotiations, but... Maybe we just declare war on the free city. This counts as an evil act. What? Or we can just ignore them? Determine how free cities and other empires see you, affected by ruler traits and various actions. So if we attack them straight away, other people won't like it. We'll make negative random events more likely. All right, let's 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 do a little whisper with them. Gain six link, cost 30 renown, Imperium. Okay, so we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. We've got a whispering stone on you and we're starting negotiations. Let's see what's down this path, shall we? Not much so far. So that's all good. We'll probably get a level up next turn. So it wanted us to build a scout, didn't it? But, all right. Let's get, what about these guys? These look a bit more, even more sinister. Ancient wonder explosion and starting negotiations. You have found a friendly free city. Now that you have established contact, you may provide them with a whispering stone. This artifact will sway their relation with you over time until they are ready to become your vassal. Okay, pretty harsh. Subterfuge. All right. And they read that already, so that's all fine. Let's go. You have gathered a large amount of Imperium. Oh. This represents the influence you have over the world. You can use it to acquire new cities, unlock new Empire skills, or speed up city growth. Okay, Imperium is mainly gained by building parts of your wizard tower in your throne city, or, be, or by annexing ancient wonders. Okay. I still don't know about this wizard tower in here. City overview, magic materials, hero overview, quests, empire development. This Whoa. Is the empire development tree. Here you will specialize your empire towards certain play styles. Increase your empire's affinity to open more options. Okay. L learn about each empire skill by hovering over it. Well, I'm not going to do every single one. Be here forever. Uh, order empire skill. Des destroying an infestation or corrupt conquering a free city grants a stack. King plus 300% relations to all other free cities for 10 turns. It's pretty good. Um, so this is just general, and this is for the order affinity. And how much points do we, how much does it cost? It costs 50 to grab this. We can't get anything in here because we have to do other things, I guess. And then we've got astral, nature, materium, chaos, and shadows. All right, well, let's grab, we have, there's no infestation nearby, so we can always grab it when we need it you will progress toward unlocking your next empire skill every turn depending on your affinity values once unlocked you can spend imperium to obtain the empire skill unlike research the empire skills provide more passive bonuses and activate immediately upon selection cool optional select one choosing a tome will alter your affinity which represents your attunement to specific cosmic forces. It can also be altered by picking a signature skill for your ruler. You will require a large amount of specific affinity to unlock higher tiers of tomes. Okay, so these are the tomes. Tome of Faith, General Research, High. High Culture, they specialize in buffing allies and diplomacy. Heal and support your units through power. So we've got these already. Okay. I don't know how to buy new ones. Okay. Well, we don't really need that right now. Destroying an infestation or conquering a free city grants. Oh, or conquering a free city. So that might happen soon. 
All right, fine. We'll grab it now. Lock it in. D diplomat uh, diplomatic channels. I'll gain one Whispering Stone. Nice. Cool. Okay, we're going to go kind of dipl diplomatic style. Hmm. Hmm. What have we got here? Attack Marauder Guard. A safe battle. All right, let's see what auto battle's like, shall we? Oh, low risk. I thought it was a lot further than that. Allow the arrow to use spells in combat. Oh, they'll use up all my money. I remember this from the other game. They've got thralls, which are melee. Poison needles. And then they've got this floral stinger, which is a ranged attack, I'm guessing. I think it's all melee. Let's see what the auto combat does. It's the same outcome. They can use a few spells. Let's have a look. All of us survived and we leveled up and we leveled up. That seems good. We can watch the replay. We can see what they did. That's right. This seems pretty good to me. A hero can choose a new hero skill every time they reach a new level. You can choose how to specialize your heroes. Choose a hero skill from the Warfare, Battle Mage, or Support category. Doing so will unlock more powerful hero skills of that category. Alright. Just appearance. Here we go. Is this the button I press? So we got battle magic, warfare, support, and learning. Okay. Experience leader. While army leader and all non-hero units in the army gain two experience every turn. Restore units. Oh, heals 10 temporary hit points. Gains regeneration has it, their negative status effects removed. It's a spell. Can see invisible or camouflaged units within vision. Target friendly unit and another non-awakened unit within two hectares become awakened. Magic attacks gain plus 80% damage at the end of turn. Uh, deals damage to the target enemy units within three hexes. He's kind of a warrior. Oh, this is battle magic. Ignores up to one status resistance. Gain 10% accuracy. She's a melee fighter though. Gain resistance and status resistance. Is that passive? Doesn't say passive. Whereas this one looks like a spell. Novice hero skill. Novice hero skill. Cannot be used within an enemy zone of control. Then we've got archery. Defense, fighting. And spirit. For one turn grants eight movements. That's another literal skill. Um... Go this experience route and level up our dudes. Two experience. How much does it take to level up? Let's have a quick look, shall we? I I've no idea. Um doesn't say. But we could do that. It'd be good just to level up our guys to get the extra health and stuff. But maybe it's not good enough. We've got two spells already. Seeing invisible people could be useful. Let's just go with experience leader to start with. What are these? Unlock signature skill at level 5. Okay. Alright, and these guys just all got extra health, etc. Underground passage. A passage that allows units to travel to and from the underground. And what's this? Oracle Woods. That's a wonder. 
Alright, let's go to that and see. We'll arrive in one turn. Alright, let's see what's over here, shall we? A bunch of dudes. I don't know if things move around or not. An infestation is close by. Ah. Invading armies will be sent from its spawner location to your lands if oh. left unchecked for too long. Destroying them, however, might prove challenging. Okay. The dead often grow restless in troubled times. In places like graveyards where they are all conveniently amassed in a single, sometimes less than final resting place, this can be fatal for others. Whether driven by dark magic, a confluence of ambient spiritual energy, or some other source of ire from beyond the veil, veil, hordes of the undead rise with one need, to feast upon the flesh of the living. So that could be problematic. This is a big group of people. Is that how far they can move? I doubt they'll move from that spot. They're, they're protecting stuff. Does this let us see for far, far away? Yeah. Alright, we'll head over there. Another underground passage. There's three things protecting that. So there's things protecting everything. Okay, prepare a scout. Ancient wonder exploration. Start negotiations. We've done that, haven't we? We've done it, but it's not coming up because I did it too quick or something. And destroy an infestation. So we turn around and go back, but there's a wonder right here. So I think that's everything. Stability measures how happy the people in your cities are. Outside of dark cultures, which do not suffer from low stability penalties, you generally want to keep your stability high. Okay. Oh, we can get another region. Um... Money's always important. This is farmland. We've got... I don't know how much... What's that? New Empire Development Skill available. Oh. I feel like we've got tons of food. Uh, production. What are we... What are we we're building a workshop which will give us... Some production. Not that much. Quarry increases production on top of that. We've got a farm already. So we can either get a gold. This would be both. This would be fine. Get a bit of gold and a bit of iron deposit. I know gold's always so important. We can go pretty far out now. Wow. We're spreading out heaps fast. All right, let's get the gold. Small monster den. That's another infestation. Knowledge stash. We already got it. What? Oh, I was just telling us we got it a while back. Okay. Okay, we're done. I, I probably shouldn't have built the scout. But um, we've done it because it told us to. It still wants us to build it. Now it that you've gotten a second scout. You will need more powerful armies to claim the valuable locations you may come across in the realm. Yes, please. Bear in mind, scouts are not meant for combat. So build your army wisely. Well, you told me to build a scout. Make an army of six units. That'll take, like, forever. Oh, it generates food if you're not making people. 25% of it. All right, so we need a couple of people. We'll guess we'll get a defender and then one of them. This is building money. So we built, we built a stockade, so that's increasing our production. Attract population for 45, that's probably a good idea. Um, it's said to build a uh, st something, storehouse. If we're building a lot of people, do we need more food? I can't see anywhere that food is needed for people. Not sure. <coughs> plus 10 mana income would be quite good. I don't know where we're getting our plus 5 at the moment. 
city upkeep income okay 20 and then unit upkeep minus 50 oh unit upkeep is that because we got like summons so maybe this would be a good idea uh and we'll use this to boost our population and then we can get it's occupied so we can't get that at the moment oh look mana occup mana node occupied a research post i don't know how how um tricky they are to get seems pretty good though let's grab this and then we'll 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 do this and then i think we'll head back and clear these things so that seems like a good idea so we'll grab this mana node like it's not going to matter everywhere else just gives five um do we do mana i feel like we should now we're going to get mana anyway we'll do a research post all oh, that reveals this whole area as well only two people on it we should be fine there okay we have a quick save there is actual quick saves which would probably be better Let's go and see what this is like. This might kill us. Powerful astral currents converge at the location. Rather than forming an ordinary mana node, these energies have crystallized into a forest of shimmering trees. Intricate branches and deep meandering root systems suggest an interconnectedness to much in this universe. Souls, worlds, and even ages. Time and space have no meaning here. A mystery bonus, moral reward, counts as a conduit. This structure can only be entered and fought by one army led by a hero. It's a one skull, so it should be okay. Let's explore. You enter a forest of glowing crystal formations, showing airy reflections of you and your troops. As you keep going through the forest, memories overwhelm you. Reflections of yourself fade into the visions of the past, present and future. Into memories of good and bad things that you have brought. Only good things. Your troops weep and wail, apologizing to their own mirror images. Then the visions start to take physical form. A creature appears from the crystal maze. Your troops scramble and shout in confusion as the reflections come to life and reveal themselves to be mirror mimics. Uh-oh. To arms! Oh my god, look at the look how freaking powerful they are. Need 162 magic. Be not afraid, troops. These mirrors can break like any other. Convince your troops there is nothing to fear. 70% successful. If we fail, your uncertainty cripples you. Your troops feel demoralized for six turns. In the upcoming battle. Discourage attackers is active. Enter battle with the Oracle Woods guards. Let's six seventy percent. Oh god. Success! Your army is bolstered by your fortunes. So we're gonna get extra people? I feel like this could be bad. Combat enchantment. What are they doing? It's three, three, and three. Seven and seven. Oh, look at the health. I don't know. We'll try it. I think apparently we got some trees to help us. I don't know if we can retreat from battle or anything. Mistakes might have been made. The Radiant is moving. Yeah, okay. Where's our helpful trees? Or something. I probably read it wrong. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So if we all move together... Am I not going to have mana? Oh, you can only cast next turn. I remember. Let's all group together, and then we can awaken ourselves. Can this guy get awakened? No. And this is costing mana, is it? Where does it say how much they cost? 
I'd be definitely willing for people to give me a few answers to some of my questions that I put in the video. So if you want to do that, you're welcome to it. All right. Um, let's let's just stay here for a second. Oh yeah, let's enter the defensive mode. Can we automatically put them in defensive mode? All right, now we have magic. Target enemy unit sustains 10 spirit damage, plus five spirit damage for each friendly faithful unit in a battle. So that seems pretty powerful. What are these guys strengths like? Physical damage, status resistance seven. I'm worrying about these dudes. Warriors out the front. So these are magic casters? Is that what that means? Transform into target non-hero unit, copying their status effects and enchantments. Okay. This is a battle mage unit, which excels at dealing magical damage and applying status effects. It is vulnerable to melee attacks and should be kept in the back line. So they've got two spirit resistance. So let's hit these phantom warriors at the front, I guess, with um, a big spell. Does it say how much? Why? Why is it only five damage? Shouldn't it be more? Or are, other, are our guys not faithful yet? Become awakened. Strengthened. Well, let's do it. Wrong button. Fortune 3. Why has he got Fortune on him? Or is it this guy? Okay. Let's figure this out. Let's go in and attack, shall we? So I want to be able to get this one at the back. Or we could just sit there and fortify ourselves, which would probably be a better idea. I'm worried about this. Shouldn't we sit back further so they have to waste some of their movement? Let's just go... Let's go two up. And then defend for now. 90% chance to hit. Sounds pretty good to me. All right. Frozen web. Have to have three points to use it. Magically charged. Standing adjacent to a magically charged obstacle will grant plus two lightning damage on all attacks. Oh, look at that. If we destroy the plants, it does 20 lightning damage to all adjacent enemies. How much life do they have? What did it say? Destroying a magically charged obstacle will deal 20 lightning damage to all adjacent units. That could, we could use that to our advantage. We should go up though. I hope our, my main dude's strong. Okay. So they're forming into our warriors. We can grab these guys maybe now. Uh oh. Okay. So we can attack these, but we're going to take an op a, a hit of opportunity, I think. That does a decent chunk of damage. Alright, let's do it. 
Um, so we can't cast anything else. Now we actually can't get these guys around. If I move her, she can get a hit in these guys. Then they might not be able to cast on us. These guys will be able to move in though. Takes half the life away. This will increase our damage by three. Or we could try and destroy one of these. I don't know how. Maybe we can't. How much points does this take? Two points? Oh no, we still have two points. Alright, what we'll do... Damn, I don't know. I'm thinking we take the archers up here to kill these guys. We need someone else to take a bit of damage for our warriors. So we're going to come around here, hit these guys. Uh -huh. A unit just got hit by a retaliation. This happens when a melee unit is struck from within its zone of control. Then we'll move here. I guess we try and kill this unit. So that would kill it, but that would use up all our attacks. We probably need a guard instead. Because these guys can't guard everyone else. This is guard plus. What's the plus two swords on our heads for? Is that how many times we attack this turn? Alright, we can't heal them. These guys might die. And our warrior isn't shielded either. Oh my god, that really, really... That was a single attack. We're dead. Because we're getting flanked. We are dead. Damn. Damn. We are dead. That's not good. These guys are so much stronger with their defense. That did not go as planned. That is so much damage. We'd kill both of these. Like, these spiders seem pretty strong. Taking off half their life. Casualties occur when a unit takes damage, which also causes the unit to deal less damage with its attacks. A single figure, such as a hero and giant, are immune to casualties. Okay. Alright, well, let's kill this. That's good. Hmm. I guess we just kill this. Maybe. What? Oh, then you gotta kill this? Well, we're, we're screwed. You gotta kill it twice? Alright, let's go for this. We can kill it next turn. I am in trouble. I guess I don't know. If we get this, does it gonna is it gonna help us enough? Wow, they're grazers. These guys are insane. And they kill me in one hit, and then this guy shoots me. Why was that so little? Let's kill these. Uh -huh. The spiders can get in here and attack these guys. Uh -huh. Ancestral membrane resisted. And then... 
I guess we'll go here and defend. We're pinned? Oh, these guys are pinned. Alright. And they're gonna attack in the back. Bastards. Oh god, he's, they're dead, aren't they? No! What are we, 70% chance? Are we doing less damage because we're further away? We just have to do it. Just defend. We're gonna die here. They're just so strong. Yeah, we're dead. All right, I guess we'll we'll reload then. We just had no idea how hard one of these things were going to be. We'll reload, or else we're going to be screwed. All right. Interesting. Or we could just leave it and die, and then we'll leave from there. But I think we'll leave that, and we'll go back and take on things we can take out like this this and this maybe that seems easy enough and once we've got an army of six then we can or at least one more strong unit we might have been able to do it if we have one more defensive unit then so let's go back and take this guy out it's just stuff we can just pick up on the ground A galleon's wreck. Wreckage from a galleon transporting goods and currency. Seems like a good idea to grab that. Oh, we can't actually get it until we get seafaring. Okay. Knowledge stash. Alright. You have encountered a hostile free city. Oh. They are independents that can be vassalized, integrated, or conquered. But these are hostile. We are at your bloodletters of Scaffold. We'll fight for our freedom and stand against anyone who threatens our free city. Even when they are led by a prophetess like you. The blood of invaders, thieves, and spies will nourish the fields. You're at war. What are they? They're level two, but they're probably everyone's level two now. All right. We got a couple of people moving around. We should probably get out of here. We'll go exploring down here. There's a group of six people. Jeez. Four, eight, nine. What are we? Three, seven, four. Now we got a new scout. rocky road so this gives us extra food when done okay far out i feel like we're in trouble now unit enchantments are spells which allow you to empower your armies they apply to all units with a specific role and cost upkeep for each unit affected these enchantments often synergize with units or spells from the same tone Okay, a type of spell that grants a bonus to a specific group of units while it is active. I guess we just got one of them, did we? Or we can do these two. Uh, General Empire skill. Seafaring. Unlocks ability to units to embark and use vessels to cross the water for flying and floating units to travel over water. Or uh, gain one Whispering Stone. Well, we don't need one of those right yet. Let's grab one of these, shall we? Because then we can put our person across the water and grab that galleon. D th is this a specific person? Grants enchanted unit faithful, which reduces unit upkeep. Oh, this does the more damage, the more faithful they are. Healing ability for use in battle. Oh. 
Faithful Whisper. Allegiance would target Free City increased by 30% faster. Uh, Wayfinder Enchantment. Scout Unit 2 and Army. Oh, okay. Grants extra movement in the world map and combat. Or Dormant Enchantments. Grants non-hero units. Dormant Guardian. Dormant Shield of Light. Dormant Seeking Missile. Affect unit types everyone. Dormant Shield Light. So this is... Un uh, making active one of their Dormant abilities. But then it costs a certain amount to upkeep or something. Wait, did I read that faithful thing? Oh, we already had that skill. That's right. Okay, so I don't think we need that. Uh, that would be kind of cool, but it's okay. We'll grab this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this guy out of here. And grab this mine, then we'll grab that one and that one. So how's our friends going? We're getting close to the next section where we can make a pack. Trading pack with them. You're going to get a new unit soon and then we'll put it into our units. We can't move them anymore. We can move this one down to here now. 64 gold, 2 gold and 64 production. That'll increase our building fast, won't it? Because it doesn't keep them anywhere. It just automatically puts it onto it, I guess. Um, something else over there. We can't move any more there. Then the scout moves down. Treasure chest. How do we spend our money? Can we quick can we make this even quicker what are we going to build next draft income does that make them build units faster I feel like that's a big thing that we need uh, increase the range of our province production increased I think we need the light forge next Okay. That should be it. I don't know if we should be doing more or not. We've read this. The city is at war with you. You can defeat defeat it with through their conquest or negotiate a peace, after which you can get them a war, war whisper stone. Orders required, the bird. Oh, this is a new turn. Okay. I guess we'll go over here. the heck is that? Little Krakens? Alright, all done. Oh, we can nearly attack him. That looks like a lot better battle. Alright. Oh, whoops. There's a person on it. Oyster Reef. And well, this underground area might be interesting to see what that gives us. Research post, another big area. We'll go back this way. Oh, nice. Foam set. Got you some gold and possibly an item which a hero can use. A mighty helm or maybe a chest full of lost riches. Let's, is this probably going to be guarded? Most likely. Let's go down this way. Some food there. Oh yeah. That's a, why is that such a large area? 
Is that going to be problematic when we grab this? Or is it just going to grow? A mass of haunted undead has claimed this region. If left unchecked, they will grow in strength and expand the territory. Become active in nine turns? Jeez. Alright. Alright, let's start taking some out, shall we? Chief Jez Rage Taker has invited you to see his warriors from Bloodguard in ancient action. Their improvised arena is a bloodstained mess of gore. The loud yelling and stench of sweat is hard to ignore as motley squads pummel each other into the ground. When the battle ends, the victor reveals a grinning mouth full of broken teeth. One eye swollen shut, the crowd cheers, and the winner raises a fist to you in victory. Uh... And the winner of the Brutal Arena battle looks at you, expecting words of recognition. Okay, so we get an order boom. Or we get gain a fury of the rat blood bloodletters. And display the violence appalls me. You should be ashamed. Good character's action gains plus 10 alignment. Now let's get him into our group. Nice. Got a shoot, shooter, a fury shooter. Ready bloodlet ranged unit, overwearing whelming tactics. Extra friendly unit with overwhelming tactics. This does not stack. Okay. Cool. Well, this is easy enough for us at the moment. What? What do they got? Elemental. We gotta fight ourselves. Oh gosh. I thought it'd be easy. Maybe we have to be careful. Are they ranged? No, they looks like they're melee. This is a shock unit. A powerful melee fighter specializing in high damage charges. Its attacks can cancel defense mode, which makes it strong against shield units and support units. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we have to overwhelm it quickly on one of our turns. How far can it move to there? Hmm. will enter if you end your turn now they will enter defensive mode okay so they automatically do it so that's great what are they doing are they going into their own defensive mode or something are they i just need to go one step closer how do we know if they're going to attack are they going to attack back okay so we want these guys to take the hit first, maybe? These guys died, though, last time. And what's... what are they... What damage are they doing? 21. Charge strike. A charge attack. Gains 20% per hex traveled up to 3 hexes. Okay. So we just got to stand right next to them and defend or something. Or attack. But we can't get around them, actually. I guess we can, actually. <laughs> Play actually a couple of times. These guys can go here, then. And we'll get... They've positioned themselves quite well. Seventy percent from here. Is that because we got high cover or something? So grazing means we missed. Do we attack them? They're just gonna attack us back. We're gonna hit them for seven, and they're gonna hit us for fifteen. Do they have a certain amount of hitbacks? We can only have one attack. Let's just defend. Or do we cast a spell? Let's 
just do 14 damage. We can may as well wait until next turn. Hopefully we don't die here. Are they running away from us? Oh, they can just pass right over us? That's smart. They're going to kill our archers. Holy crap. Well, I wasn't expecting them to just be able to fly over us. I can see what, what happened last time. Unfortunately, we can't kill them. Oh, I guess we can. We use the spell. Divine Light! We all want to get close. Alright, we can see what happened. And we did exactly the same thing. Gone. Ouch. So you can just retry again and again. We won't. We'll be fine with that, I guess. We'll get some more archers. Oh. So we can choose... Take reward. We get both? This unit inflicts double moral penalties when killing an enemy. Okay. So you can put that on you. Nice. You leveled up again. Um, extra 10% damage or maybe defense. 5% invasion and one defense. We've got way more stuff here now. While any army leader, all non-hero units in the army gain 10% damage. That's crazy. Good. Required for vigor. So this is just for us, 10% maximum hit points required. Yeah. Now we have a minus 20% unit upkeep. Where does that come into play? Uh, let's go to the strength training. While army leader, battle mage units, range units, and skirmish units in the army inflict marked. Cool. Well, let's do strength at the moment. And um, we've got two more people joining the ranks. Unit upkeep, minus 56. Making a full army. Now that you have a sufficient army, you are ready to expand and conquer. Armies are expensive, so put them to good use. Send them out with a hero to gain experience and discover new resource nodes and potential city locations. There it is. Eight. Wow, we can go that far. That's a lot. Expands the domain. Oh yeah, that's what we put on there. What's this? Knowledge stash. Uh -huh. We'll grab that and then we'll go down there. Light forge and that. Okay, who's next? You're gonna go explore down here? Oh, they put that on their thing. I see. What's this? Little knowledge stash? Sixty-nine gold. Should we go flying off? Hope nothing happens bad at sea. These guys don't look too happy either. Oh, they treat no Tilly Spork. Uh Duchess Quintha Shepherd of the Free City Tilly's Fork. Greets you with some reverence. Salutations, prophetess. Your reputation precedes you. It gives us hope to meet a prophetess who shares our beliefs. We look forward to learning from you, and we will trust to respect the Tilly Fork's territory and independence. Okay, cool. Four. 
They're a pretty big place. Alright, we'll give them a whisper stone later for sure. Um Alright. So that's cool. What is that? Forces detected. Go grab this food. Alright, done again. Small monster den. Wait, what? Oh no, we're high. Yeah, yeah. We've gone up. Thought they were hard. Okay. Looking, looking good, looking good. Oh, we got some stuff. Negotiation successful. Our diplomatic status state with the Blood Guard is now a pact of cooperation. Opens its borders. Trading is enabled. Up to two resource trades are available. Magic materials can be traded. Next upgrade pack of loyalty. How do we trade with them? Boost the alliance, withdraw, trade. Trade with the free city, they may be willing to trade resources per turn and many magic materials. So, if we spend four gold per turn, we get ten of those. That's heaps good. Uh, unique global effect. Founded migration and absorbing cities take minus two turns. Cool. Whispering stones grant plus one allegiance. Let's just do this one. This seems good. Cool. So that just took that down by one turn. And now we can walk through this place. Iron deposit. This is growing pretty quick. Uh, General Empire skill unlocks the ability to use units to e excavate earthen terrain to the underground. Okay. Uh, vassals grant plus 10 gold in tribute. Okay. And gain one whispering stone. Well, we could do that for sure now. And how do we talk to these? What's this big line? Oh, that's the end of the city there. Oh, so it's a pretty small map. Cool. That makes sense. I like it. Um, magic materials, city overview, armies, quests, diplomatic overview. So these guys, we want to give them a whispering you stone. Established your first contact. Second contact. Once enough allegiance is gained with a free city and they've become your vassal, they can be integrated. Cool. So we can boost it by spending 40 and it will gain us plus 8. How many is per thing? We're getting plus 2 at the moment. We we'll probably need it for other things. Okay. So that will pretty much just increase our population quicker. We can definitely get another one now. Okay. Um... This one gives us extra stuff. Production and food. Oh, that'll just increase the population speed, which you can grab more places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. We probably do need a bit of that. And that's a bit of both. So five income from the farm. So that's giving us a total of 12 plus 3, or 15. Alright, get a forestry. That's cool, I didn't see the little things moving around. Alright, so that'll increase the population speed. Or we can just attract it instantly. Okay. There's another group over here. That treasure chest has got only one creature on it. 
Very easy to take out. I guess we're going to have to go underground at some point and have a look down there. I'm going to grab this quickly. We could get in trouble for doing that. What are these guys? Embassy army of... Oh, that's our friends. Just start step on their land or else they'll get angry. Okie dokie. Event log. Spells. This is your spell list. You can cast various spells from here to bolster your units and cities. Or to smite your enemies. Look how much it costs. And does that last forever? Upkeep cost is two mana. Okay. Mending touch, healing ability for use in battle, unit upkeep. So that could be kind of cool. To actually your spell, select the blue button next to the ruler. Cool. Uh, there are two kinds of spells. Strategic spells uh, can only be cast on the world map, while tactical spells may be cast during combat. Some spells such as summons or enchantments are sustained in which case they cost spell upkeep. To cancel an active spell, go to the active tab. You see. Okay. Cool. I get ya, I get ya. Alright, we might leave it here for this episode. Uh, and we'll continue our run. We're learning, we're learning, we're learning. We're doing okay apart from this one bad attack here. I don't know how you know how bad they're gonna be. That was one skull, so you need at least a full group um, of people for uh, one skull. We've got no scouts in here or anything. So we did have a full group. We still lost. But yeah. Okay. I'll see you in the next one, guys. This is cool. Bye fucking out.